Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 24. In his days, Nebuchadnezzar, Satsar, king of Bebel, came up, and Yahu Yachim became his servant three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him, and Yahuwah sent against him eth bands of the Kajdim, and eth bands of the Aramaim, and eth bands of the Moavim, and eth bands of the children of Ammon, and sent them against Yahuda to destroy it, according to the word of Yahuwah, which he spoke by his servants the prophets. Surely at the commandment of Yahuwah came this upon Yahuda to remove them out of his sight, for the sins of Manasseh, according to all that he did, and also for the innocent blood that he shed, for he filled Ath Yerushalayim with innocent blood, which Yahuwah would not pardon. Now the rest of the acts of Yahu Yachim and all that he did, are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the Kings of Yahuda? So, Yahu Yachim slept with his fathers, and Yahu Yachin, his son, reigned in his stead. And the king of Mitzrayim came not again any more out of his land, for the king of Babel had taken from the river of Mitzrayim unto the river of Parath all that pertained to the king of Mitzrayim. Yahu Yachin was eighteen years old when he began to reign. And he reigned in Yerushalayim three months. And his mother's name was Nehushta, the daughter of Elnathan of Yerushalayim. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, according to all that his father had done. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadne Sethar, king of Babel, came up against Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. And Nebuchadne Satsar, king of Babel, came against the city, and his servants did besiege it. And Yahu Yakin, the king of Yahuda, went out to the king of Babel, he and his mother and his servants, and his princes and his officers, and the king of Babel took him in the eighth year of his reign. And he carried out thence eth all the treasures of the house of Yahuwah, and the treasures of the king's house, and cut in pieces eth all the vessels of gold which Shalomah, king of Yashadael, had made in the temple of Yahuwah, as Yahuwah had said. And he carried away eth all Yerushalayim, and eth all the princes, and eth all the mighty men of valor, even ten thousand captives, and all the craftsmen and smiths, none remained save the poorest sort of the people of the land. And he carried away eth Yahu Yakin to Babel, and eth the king's mother, and eth the king's women, and eth his officers, and eth the mighty of the land. Those carried he into captivity from Yerushalayim to Babel, and eth all the men of might, even seven thousand, and craftsmen and smiths a thousand, all that were strong and apt for war. Even them the king of Babel brought captive to Babel. And the king of Babel made eth Matanyahu, his father's brother, king in his stead, and changed eth his name to Sidikiyahu. Sidikiyahu was twenty and one years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Yerushalayim, and his mother's name was Chatmutal, the daughter of Yimiyahu of Livna. And he did that which was evil in the sight of Yahuwah, according to all that Yahu Yachim had done. For through the anger of Yahuwah it came to pass in Yerushalayim and Yahuda, until he had cast them out from his presence, that Sidi Kanyahu 
rebelled against the king of Babel.